Yesterday I put the Xiaomi 15 in the freezer and well the Xiaomi 15 is not in the freezer right now I have attached an active cooler just doing some benchmarks and you know guys I'm trying to read all the comments that I get on the videos and try to reply yeah, well not to all of them, but at least to most of them or to the one that I do believe makes sense. And then something drew my attention yesterday as the user Hassan Al Karfan and I hope that I'm saying this right said just put it into ice water. And then I said I might and then the Pokemo 100 said OMG like he did that icon too. So I'm just thinking maybe I should really Put this thing in ice water and see how much I'm gonna get in like 3D Max and Geekbench. I mean, why not? Uh, this is why we're kind of doing those things. And I'm, by the way, waiting for my MagSafe case to arrive so that I can properly attach this thing here from Banks. This is the Ace Boost by Banks and I did some videos about this thing. It's pretty much a good cooler with a Peltier element. So guys, I might really want to drop it in water and see what happens, then drop some ice. Honestly, I don't really think this is gonna be just cooling enough to really beat the records that that I got already in Geekbench and 3D Mark, but why not? I mean, we can at least try that, right? Like, let's have some fun. I think we're allowed to have some fun in once in a while, right? Okay, let's do this. All right, we got water, but the water is, yeah, just only 18 Celsius. So we also got ice. Let me show you something cool, guys. If you have ice and you have a temp gun, yeah, you can do some nice tricks, nice illumination lets. So now I'm gonna put the ice inside the water and then I'm gonna put the sham inside the water. And by the way, the ice, hmm, yeah, minus six, minus 6.6. .6. Honestly, I don't think that I'm gonna beat the freezer record. So maybe I have to put a phone back in the freezer and put an fan to blow and etc. to maybe get better scoring. But nevertheless, let's have some fun. Let's put the ice here. Let's put the phone. Let's do Geekbench and 3D Mar. Here comes the ice and now it's time to put it in the water. All right, shake it a bit. Now guys, I would like to wait a few minutes for the water to cool down and then I'm gonna put the phone inside. So the phone has IP68 rating, which means that it should survive one meter and a half submerged for 30 minutes. But if you're watching this and you wanna try this out, don't do this. This is why we're doing things like this. Again, it's just for the fun, but maybe there is a risk for you to damage your device. Don't ever do this. I did the same test with the S24 Ultra when I was testing the Galaxy Watch Ultra in the sea with sea salt water. Again, not a good idea. You have to always rinse the device to just get the salt out of the way so this is just a fair warning now let's wait a few minutes for the water to cool down then i'm going to submerge the phone start gig bench things beforehand and see what happens honestly i don't think that we're gonna beat the freezer record because it was like minus 15 but who knows i mean maybe water is just better than just cold air without any circulation well we're gonna know in a few minutes here we are probably stirred everything looks nice and what is more important guys cool one quick measurement nine celsius guys this is not ideal but this is what we got now guys this was my result from the freezer test 3703 for the single core score and 9393 for the multi core score so the case has been removed from the phone and i'm going to start the test again and then submerge it here uh, and i hope it's going to survive nevertheless let's see what is going to happen again if you want to do this at home, don't do this. It's not worth. I mean, this is why we do this kind of things. It's just to have some fun. At the end of the day, why not? It's Saturday night, so I think we are allowed to have some fun. Let's see what is going to happen at the end. We are almost at the end of the test. Let me just remove <laughs> the fogging here. 100%. So what is your guess? Oh, wow. 3,106 and 9,699. I do believe that, yep, by far, this is probably our best result. Wow, this is really good. Like, this is really good, guys. So, the phone at only 14 Celsius. I hope it's going to work after this. And now let's start the 3D mark. I'm going to run the Wildlife Extreme test. So, first, the results from the freezer. This was 6,560 and the phone is really, 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 really cold. Let's start the test, put the phone back in ice and let's hope that we are going to get a better result in this type of testing. All right, let's enjoy this. Six thousand six hundred sixty-four. 
with an average frame rate of 39.96664. Yes, we got more versus the fridge test, which means that I need to run, of course, the Antutu and see if I'm able to beat the record. This thing here was just with a case on my desk and in the fridge I got 100,000 points more. So let's see how it's going to play out this time. Let me again remove the fogging here. And very soon the final results will reveal to us. And we have some special effects here. Everything from China on the Express. 98%. We have to beat the previous record. Oh my god, yes, we did it. 2757, guys. Last time in the fridge it was 2666. So definitely freezing water. Way better for cooling of the Xiaomi 15. And I really hope that the phone is going to survive. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. We still cannot get really more than this. And I don't think that any other cooling in the world will work. Maybe nitrogen liquid, I'm not sure, but then the phone will break. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if that's the case, guys, just go and watch some of the other videos. With that said, stay safe. VST over. Goodbye.